Have you ever wondered how your identity is protected online? Well, it's a fascinating journey of complex systems and procedures working together to make sure you're the only one who's you. First off, there's an entity, which is any real-life person or thing. It's like you, your pet, or even your computer. Each entity has an identity, which is a collection of properties or attributes that correspond to it. Identities must be unique, much like how every character in Lord of the Rings has unique traits that set them apart. Next, we have Identity Management, also known as Identity and Access Management. Imagine this as a grand council, like the one in the elven city of Rivendell, deciding who gets access to what. It's a framework made up of policies and related technologies that ensure users and computers have the necessary access to technology resources. This leads us to the Identity Lifecycle, a procedure that defines the identity within an organization beginning with creation, following with access and activity, and ending with termination or decommission. Think of it as the journey of Frodo from the Shire to the Mount Doom and back. Directory services, on the other hand, are like the libraries of Middle-earth, storing and referencing identities and their respective attributes. Examples include OpenLDAP and Microsoft Active Directory, which can be used to authenticate users to multiple resources. Now, imagine a grand alliance, like the one formed to fight Sauron. That's what Federation in Cybersecurity is. It's the linking of identities and attributes across multiple identity management systems by the establishment of trust relationships between the parties. Single Sign-On, or SSO, is the process of providing authentication across multiple accounts using federated identities. Picture it as a master key that opens multiple locks. Now, let's move to authentication factors. The mechanism used to verify the identity. These are characterized in three categories. Something the user knows like a password or PIN. Something the user has like an ID card or cell phone. And something the user is or does like a fingerprint or signature. Lastly, multi-factor refers to authentication using a combination of two or more different factors. It's like needing both the one ring and the secret password to enter the minds of Moria. So, in summary, online identity protection is a complex, multi-layered system involving entities, identities, identity management, directory services, federation, single sign-on and multi-factor authentication. It's a fascinating journey, much like the epic quests in our favourite fantasy novels.